Okay, this is take two. My kids are very talkative today. I love them, but oh my goodness. Here's my mint and chives. They're baby chives. And then I have watermelon that I don't know what to do with. Um, over here we have chard and cauliflower. The chard is doing very well, as is the cauliflower, all of my four different varieties here. They do need to get watered again. They are very, very thirsty. Here is the only head I have so far. Let's hope that I get myself more. Over here, we have my potatoes. As you can see, the ones on the right side are the late potatoes, they're flowering. Um, I buried the potatoes at the bottom of the bed and I hilled it twice. I think I might throw some more mulch on top, um, but they are, as you can see, very healthy and happy. They're doing great. Over here we have tomatoes. These are a determinate variety, I believe. So determinate means that they only get to a certain size and then they stop growing. They are also flowering finally. And also interesting, see these two guys are a lot smaller than the rest of them. It's just something to do with where they are and positioned. They don't get as much sun. My thyme. And then over here, we have my carrots. Um, so I did them succession planting. So I did this one, you know, I do it every two weeks. Um, and I do a few radishes in there too. Unfortunately, I'm not getting a whole lot of new carrots on this side. I only see a few, which isn't good. I might try replanting some more seeds. And then I haven't gotten any so far here on this side. And hopefully these ones will be ready to pick soon. All right, we've got my oregano. My oregano and my parsley. And now <clears throat> we have my indeterminate tomatoes. These guys just keep growing and growing and they kind of vine out and go crazy. <laughs> oh, let's see, we got this one probably needs, I think they need to be pruned. You don't prune determinate varieties, but you do prune indeterminate. So I need to do some pruning and whatnot with them. They're getting really big. Over here, we have my strawberries, which it's been hard to actually, almost ready, get any strawberries. They've been getting eaten by birds and chipmunks. But I did finally give it a good weeding and mulching over here, which has helped. But as you can see, there's a big bare area where all these ones have died. A few of them have come back, but not much. Over here, we have my broccoli. They're doing great, and most of them at this point are getting heads, which is great. Um, this variety here, Green Magic, is one that is known for offshoots. So I'm going to keep those, but the other ones... Once I gather the heads, I am probably just gonna hack them, which is sad, but yeah, you can see they're doing great. Yeah. And then over here we have um, celery, bush beans, and verbena. I definitely thought verbena was a different kind of flower than it actually is, so that's a little funny, but it's fine. So they're doing really well. Um, I think this, particular plant I'm going to go ahead and cut down and harvest soon. Okay, the side garden now has the fence. It's not um, it's not hot yet, not electric yet, so I can still walk through. My rhubarb is huge. And then over here we have my salad green section, which as you can see is doing great. I need to weed the back section. Um, and a lot of these plants need to be pulled because they're going to bolt really, really soon. I know they are, <laughs> but I have so much of it. <laughs> Over here we have a few flowers. 
uh, zinnias and marigolds. And as you can probably notice, I have mulched a good portion of this garden. Yeah. I am not done yet. So yeah. I still have to work on it. And I, I, I have to weed this area and remulch it. All right, over here we have my basil. I have purple and green varieties. There's some more flowers. And then here is my little corn, my young corn patch. Doesn't look super great, but let's hope, right? And then we have spaghetti squash with a sunflower. And that is acorn squash. And then over here we have snap peas. Snappy. You can see the bottom. They are going to start dying because it is about the end of their life. But I'm hoping we'll get a few more snap peas before. Because I, I feel like I planted the peas a little late this year. But, ooh, there's one. Ooh, I like it. Yes, you do. She loves these. But, um, I they still have been good to me, so. Over here we have a whole bunch of weeds. <laughs> I gotta weed all that. This is pumpkins. And then we have my other corn patch that's much taller very vigorous. Now this corn patch over here, um, what I'm doing is a three sisters arrangement where I have corn, squash, and beans. I, I planted the beans just recently. It's pretty late, but it is what it is. I have more beans over here. These are kidney beans. <laughs> the big failure of my garden, my watermelon. Yeah, I just don't think watermelon is a good choice for around here. They're getting eaten, and they just are so small still. Over here we have cucumbers. They're doing all right. Um, another random sunflower. That was not intentional. We have two little flowers that were given to my children. This area is very weedy. I haven't weeded it yet. <laughs> I'm going to weed and mulch this Mama, soon. Over here we have a row of sunflowers I planted and something but mine. I think it'll be okay though. I think it's gonna come back, although I have to admit the the leaves don't look great. We'll have to get it weeded and mulched better, won't we? It'll be okay. And then zucchini. Um these, I don't think they're actually getting pollinated yet because they haven't seemed like they're getting any bigger. I think I'm just getting female flowers first, which is fine. And then this is um, summer squash, summer crookneck. So they're doing pretty well. And then I have a few more flowers along the back. Cosmos, mostly in this area, and another random sunflower. They're doing fine. And then a lot of weeds. Because again, I haven't, I've gone up and I've mulched over here, as you can tell, but I haven't been able to mulch where I'm standing yet. But nope. you can also see my, my vines going, the spaghetti squash, isn't that cool? So we're gonna walk up through here. I just, um, this is where I left off yesterday. I have to finish this patch of corn getting that mulched, weeded and mulched, and I'm gonna move through the rest of the garden. But a lot of it's done, which is great. It looks really good. I'm very pro mulch. Yeah, oh, I, there's one thing I didn't show you guys. So this is arugula, and then there's three different varieties of spinach, and then a lot of different varieties of lettuce. Four. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. All right, and then up through the side here, and then I have my cilantros up here because this is the sh one of the shadiest spots. And then I plant the cilantro. I need to plant plant more, but again, I got a weed and stuff too. So yeah, that's it. I know. Oh, that looks like it's about to bolt. I really need to pick a bunch of this tomorrow morning, I think. Uh, I'm eating a lot of salad right now. Okay. That is this month's tour.